friends this is Sri Harsha from Crazy Money with Sri and today is 3rd of September and before the market opens I'll be updating you what is happening in the market today so if you are new for my youtube channel and if you are not subscribed for the channel just go ahead click on the uh, subscribe button and hit on the bell icon so that you will get all the notifications today I'll be uh, doing a live session for uh, auction expiry secrets also so you stay tuned you will actually get all the updates guys if you actually see yesterday the data which actually the market was extremely happy in the european countries as well as in the us has been so positive that uh, yesterday if you see dow john hit all time new record it is actually almost very near by to its all time high it's hardly around half a percent uh, less than half a percent to nearby to its all time high so it's almost nearby to that uh, in dow jones snp actually also went up uh, quite a lot and even nasdaq actually has made a new record of 12000 levels it's almost everything in uh, in actually us uh, if you see Dow Jones, SSP, NASDAQ and even the Russell 2000 which is actually all the small cap companies, everything was more than 1, 1.5% 1 up. And if you look at the European markets, the DAX, uh, FTSE, CAC, everything was almost 2% up. So almost everything was up yesterday and this is going to actually build a good amount of momentum in the Indian market also in the morning today we may actually start the market at the uh, at the high note and for the last two days 11,550 has been acting as a resistance as long as we are going to cross 11,550 that is actually a buy signal for us and from there we are expecting the market to start moving higher overall the entire uh, global markets are looking extremely positive at this point of time and yesterday if you have actually seen my uh, other video which actually i went live at the evening i clearly told you that whatever sell has happened on monday that reversal has actually seen yesterday so that means that we should actually start seeing buying coming only thing is because today is option expiry and uh, the we need to see how long actually we should we may be able to move higher overall if you see this <coughs> this week the range has been the option uh, uh, chain if i have to see 11400 on the lower side actually acts as a support and 11700 800 will act as a resistance that is what actually we can see in the option chain so overall uh, market looks quite positive and we should start seeing some amount of rally if not today tomorrow we should actually definitely move higher and uh, probably we should be able to break the resistance of 11800 from where the big sell off came and uh, overall the market looks quite positive and the rally could continue so so buy on dips is actually going to still continue and uh, probably now that the market actually sentiments will be more positive we should start seeing the rally again moving uh, back from where actually it ended and uh, if you look at the uh, bank nifty for bank nifty uh, 23500 will act as a crucial resist uh, support and uh, 24,150 uh, 24, level will act as a resistance as long as we can actually hold on to that the next important resistance will be around 25,000 to 25,500 levels so uh, we should actually uh, get a good amount of support from all the places overall actually market earlier where in the overbought situation now i hope the overbought situation um, will actually move out we will move out from the overbought situation and we may actually come back uh, 
uh, to the buying mode again overall the sentiment looks extremely positive guys and uh, probably the momentum is going to still continue so shorting is still not really helping shorting only on the intraday uh, probably could make sense but only buying on dips is what actually is really really helping and that could actually continue guys so uh, for all the latest updates and uh, other trading ideas i'll be actually coming up live and i'll be actually sharing you the ideas overall market looks quite quite positive and uh, if you see the uh, uh, gold and silver now probably may not actually sustain the levels right now because this will obviously bring the gold and silver prices quite low it's still trading in the uh, 1950 range I, the it has to actually come back to 1700 1800 range then only there could be some amount of buying coming in if the market is going to still actually continue with the same old uh, journey like actually it still moves higher then probably gold and silver may not actually be able to actually move further high so it may actually come into a range but overall now once actually uh, the gold and silver would actually take the support and uh, we should actually start seeing uh, a buying interest coming back so these are the uh, these are the updates for the market and um, for more updates actually stay tuned on this and i'll be actually coming out with explaining more such ideas thank you very much guys like this video and share it with all your friends let everybody know about this if you are not actually a part of my telegram group go and actually join telegram on crazy money which free and i'll actually update you more such things thank you very much guys have a great day and a profitable day for you